the Northern Island Assembly's Public Accounts Committee today launched their report into the use of locum doctors in local hospitals. The committee's report focused on the need to manage locum doctors to ensure both value for money and good quality patient care. A number of recommendations were made in the report. These included ensuring that the European Working Time Directive is adhered to, that all trusts are made aware of poorly performing temporary staff, and minimizing the use of recruitment agencies by establishing an internal list of potential staff. We caught up with the chair of the committee, Paul Maskey, Deputy Chair Joe Byrne, and committee member Michael Copeland to hear about the report's findings and recommendations. Uh, we're concerned is that since 2007 to 2011, four-year period, there was £109 million spent on locum doctors. It did certainly seem that some of the, the agencies themselves, um, employment agencies, seem to have the department over a barrel and they seem to be able to charge whatever they want to. So that was major concerns for ourselves, that, is that locum doctors and the agencies um, seem to put whatever cost they wanted on it. Well, the committee and my colleagues were concerned that the Department of Health didn't require the European Working Time Directive to be implemented. We believe that doctors should be verified to make sure that they are compliant through the European Directive Working Time uh, hours. I was astonished to discover that elements of this had taken on the aspects of a business. You had 18 agencies offering the services of medical professionals at very varying prices. And it, it reminded me almost of a Victorian hiring fair for medical professionals, which was not quite what I had expected. Well, we want the, the, the department to, to have like a, a bank of locum doctors where they can draw on, um, which does away with some of the agency costs. And we do think that that would be better value for money um, with regards to it. But the department and ourselves had agreed that, and they have sort of backtracked a wee bit on that at the moment, where they've delayed that. I, I don't think that's acceptable. And I would urge the department to step up to the mark as soon as possible to put that bank in place so they can draw on, and it would be much more cost effective for public money. Well, I expect the department to take on board the recommendations inculcated in our report. Um, we didn't think them up for the sake of thinking them up. We have recommended them because we will believe it will lead to better service delivery, to greater public safety and to a more close attention being paid to the public purse, which is the task that we um, are charged with as the Public Accounts Committee. We would expect the department to bring in new guidelines so that doctors would not be relying on self-compliance themselves. I think it's not fair that doctors should be managing their own hours of work in hospitals. We think it's very important that healthcare workers should be afforded good working conditions in the interest of patient safety and in the interest of health of public sector workers.